I'm so glad that we're together. I'm so glad you're near. It's good when friends are together. I'm so glad I'm here. Welcome to the workshop. Welcome, welcome to my special friend. I'm so happy and delighted you are near today. I'm so glad you came to visit. I'm so glad I'm here. It's going to be a really good day all because you're near. I'm so glad that we can be friends, learn together, grow together, talk together, sing together, a song or maybe two. One, two. I'm so glad you came to visit. I'm so glad I'm here. It's going to be a really good day all because you're near. Welcome, friend. I brought my computer by earlier, and I'm excited to share with you some pictures of different places that I have stored on my computer. Let's go over to the table, and I'll show you those pictures now. Come on. I want to show you some pictures a friend of mine painted. This first picture is the Great Mosque of Genet. This mosque is in Africa. It looks a lot like a sandcastle, but it's not. People can actually go inside this building. Isn't that wonderful? Here's another building. This building is in New Mexico. It looks a lot like a sandcastle too. Many years ago, native people lived here. Now the last painting that I'm going to show you looks a lot like a dollhouse. In fact, many people have a hard time believing that it's real people sized but it is. It looks very tiny, but it's not. It's actually a building that's real people sized. I once went to see this little building and I wonder if Smart Screen has a video of the time that I went to see this little building. Let's ask Smart Screen now. Smart screen, do you have the video file of the time that I went to see this little building? Smart screen is scanning the picture. Ah, smart screen does have some video. Why don't you and I watch the video together as smart screen is loading it? Thank you, smart screen. I really like to remember that time. I was thinking, we've built a sandcastle recently, and we've been to many different buildings of all different shapes and sizes lately. Maybe you and I could build a birdhouse together. 
I know I have everything I need here at the workshop in my craft bag. The straw that we used when we went to build sand castles. Remember it was the flagpole on top of the castle? Well, I kept this old milk carton. Well, it's a half and half carton. After my wife was done with it, I washed it out really well once all the milk was gone. But I thought this carton would make a wonderful birdhouse. This carton might have been thrown away had I not saved it. So I'm glad that I could save it and you and I could recycle and upcycle. Now, I also need a pair of scissors, a hole punch, a pencil, and this plastic top. I'm going to use this plastic top as a pattern or a template. Some people say pattern. Some people say template. But what I'm going to do, I think this would make a good opening for our birdhouse, for our bird to go in the house. So I'm going to try to center it and I'm going to trace around the template with my pencil. Ah, can you see the pencil mark? Now I'm going to carefully punch a hole very carefully. So I don't want to punch a hole in me. And as always, children should never use scissors all by themselves. If you're using scissors, there should be an adult close helping you. Yes. In fact, this is a wonderful project if you want to do this at home for an adult to help you with. Now, this hole will not be a perfect circle, but I'm going to cut it as close as I can. Oh, it is hard to cut. Be careful of my fingers. All right. Now we have a hole for the bird to go in and I thought we need a perch and I'm going to carefully with my pencil puncture a hole right underneath the big round hole that we cut. Let's see, and I think our straw should go directly through, yes. Now, you could decorate your birdhouse any way that you want to. You could put stickers on it, you could paint it, you could do anything that you imagine. But before I do that, I'm going to attempt to punch a hole with a hole punch right here in the top. And the reason, oh, it's, it's very tough. This is something you'd want to get an adult to help you with. Mm. Well, that's very tough. Try one more time. Ah, there we go. And we punched a hole right through in the top. Now, I'm going to put this stuff away. I am going to keep our funnel, and I'll show you why in just a moment. But I'm also going to put this birdhouse away, and I'll tell you why. I have made another birdhouse, and I brought it by earlier when I brought my computer by. And I'm going to put this back in the drawer. And here's the birdhouse 
that I've already finished and paint it. What I did was I attached a string and then I took a paper clip so we'd have a way to hang our birdhouse. But I didn't just build this birdhouse, I also made a bird feeder from a smaller milk container. And I have some bird seed. And just like with the birdhouse, I have a piece of twine, a piece of string that I attached to the birdhouse and then a paper clip so we'd have a way to hang our bird feeder. Now, when this was a milk container, you would unscrew this top and pour the milk out. But now that it's a bird feeder, this is a perfect place to put bird seed in or refill bird seed when the birds have come and ate all the seed. And just like with this, where I cut a circle, I cut a rectangle here in this box, but I didn't cut the bottom. I left the bottom and I bent it forward so the birds would have a place to perch and eat the seed. So what I'm going to attempt to do is open our bird seed and I am going to carefully, putting my finger over the hole, scoop a little bird seed in. Yeah, I think that's enough. And then I'm going to attempt to put it in like so. I may have to help it. There we go. Let's see, that's enough. Oh, yes. I think that's plenty. So I will put our bird seed to the side. And I will also put our funnel away. I'll put the top back on our birdhouse. Yeah, let me just brush off the table there. Wonderful. Now, why don't you and I take our bird feeder and our birdhouse outdoors and hang them up? You ready? Come on with me. I have the bird house and the bird feeder. And I thought we could hang the bird house here in this tree. I have a chain in this tree where a bird house had hung previously. There's our bird house for the birds. Oh, I hear some birds. I hope they'll use our bird house and bird feeder. And then I have a chain back here where a bird feeder had previously hung. And we'll hang it there. And hopefully the birds will come and use the feeder and the house. But our scent will have to get off before the birds will feel comfortable coming to the feeder or to the house. So in the meantime, why don't you and I go back to the workshop for some fantasy play? Come on. <music> Get our pretending toys. Here's the true house workshop where Mumbo works, and here's the lighthouse where Audrey lives and works. Now, last time our friends were pretending to build a sandcastle on the moon but they were really playing in a sandbox by Mumbo's tree. Let's pretend that our four friends are back on the seashore by Audrey's pumpkin lighthouse. Maybe they could be doing something more than just building sandcastles. 
maybe they could be pretending to be animals at the zoo. And maybe Audrey could be the zookeeper who likes to take pictures of the animals. Let's have some fantasy play about that now. I'm a lion. I'm in my den made from sand. Hi, Mr. Lion. I'm here to take your picture, please. Hi, Miss Zookeeper. Let me strike a pose. Roar! I have other animals to photograph. Will you point me to the elephant? Why, yes, Miss Zookeeper. Keep walking that way. Why, thank you, Mr. Lion. You're welcome, Miss Zookeeper. Roar! I'm an elephant. I like to play in sand. I'm an elephant. I'll shout it throughout the land. Ha <laughs> ha! Hi, Mr. Elephant. Hi, Miss Zookeeper. I'm here to take your photograph. Then I'll have to strike a pose. Ready? One, two, three. I've got your picture. Oh, may I see, please? Sure. Just look at the screen. Hey, thank you, Miss Zookeeper. That picture looks just like me. Ha <laughs> ha! I must now photograph the monkey. Will you please point the way to go? Sure. Keep going that way. It's the only way to go. Thank you, Mr. Elephant. You're welcome, Miss Zookeeper. I'm a monkey. I like to climb this tree. Here by the seashore is the only place for me. Hi, Mr. Monkey. I'm here to take your picture, please. Sounds like fun. I love to say cheese. Cheese! Oh, boy. I now have a picture of all the animals in my zoo. Well, not every animal. What? Well, Mumbo and I remember that you, too, made an animal mask. Yes, it's only fair that you get a turn, too. Yes, let me be the zookeeper, and I'll take a picture of you. Do you really mean it? Sure we do. Thank you. Here's my camera, Boo. I'll be right back. I'm glad I get to be an animal, too. I will take good care of Audrey's camera. Do you need help, Boo? Thank you, Mumbo. I think I've got it. Here I am, Mr. Zookeeper. Wow, a tiger. Let me take your picture, please. Why, thank you, Mr. Zookeeper. Say, I like green peas. I like green peas. Wonderful. I got it. Now that you have pictures of all the pretend zoo animals, Audrey, what are you going to do with them? We can make a scrapbook of our day at the zoo. Hey, yes. Let's go to the lighthouse and work on it now. Yes, Audrey. May we please? Sure, guys. I would love that. Come on inside. We'll get started. It was nice that the three friends thought about giving Audrey a chance to dress up like a zoo animal, too. It's always good when friends are kind to one another. When you can think about the needs of others, and not just your own needs, then you know that you're growing well. And that should give you a really good feeling inside. We thought about the needs of others today. Sure, we thought about the birds needing a home and needing to eat. Mm -hmm. Well, let's clean up our toys. You know, regardless of how busy you are doing things and going places, even if it's only pretend places, it's good to remember the needs of others, like taking care of your pets, playing with your friends, 
and helping your family. Taking care of yourself and others is an important indication that you are growing up healthy. I take care of you 
For I was once small too I remember the fears Remember the joys Of being a child like you I take care of you I'm taking good care of you I just remembered something that I'd like to show you I think it's here in the drawer yes this is a tiny house made out of gingerbread see all the details of course this just looks like a house it's really something you can eat this little house is made out of food that means it's edible I thought you might like to see this. I'll put it away for another time. Come on. Next time, I will see you next time. We will be together next time. We'll sing a song or two or three We'll sing it strong and merrily Next time, when we're together next time Next time, I will see you next time We will work together next time We'll talk together openly About important things we see Next time we're together next time You know, I like spending time with you You are special to me And I want you to remember that I like you because you are you I like you like you are There's simply no one like you And I like you because you're you See you next time